Welcome back, friends. Today, we're going to create a trending sports logo design where the text crisscrosses. Now, I can't take 100% credit for this design. I did get my inspiration from two other creators, Michelle Toth and Reno Nadiendi, and I want to thank them for giving me this inspiration. So to get started, I'm going to add some text onto my workspace. In all caps, I'm going to type TIGERS. I'll make that a little bit larger. For the font, I'm going to come up here to the font selector and I'm going to choose a font called Wildcat College. This is what it looks like. Now I'm going to change the color of the font to white. And I'm going to also place an outline on this effect. So I'm going to go to my text effects. And I'm going to select the outline option for the color. I'm going to change it to black and I'm just going to reduce the thickness slightly. I'm going to make a copy of this text and I'm going to add another page. I'm going to grab this text and I'm just going to slide it all the way down to my second page for the font color. I'm going to change the font color to red. It's now time for us to download this design. I'll come to share, download, and I'm going to download the, these designs as transparent. Now, when you're downloading multiple designs, they are going to end up in a zip folder. So you have to extract the files and then you can bring them back into your design software. So I'm going to do that and I'll drag them back in. All right, so here they are. And I'm going to grab the red one. We're going to go to apps and we're going to search for an app called skew image. This is what it looks like right here. Just click on the purple button and we've now got our tigers skewed. So it's set at 20. I'm actually going to change it to 18. I'll press enter. I'm not going to change the horizontal skew. I'll leave it like that. I'm going to add this to my design. So here it is right here. I'm going to grab my white one and I'm actually going to set it at minus 18. And I'm going to leave the horizontal skew the way it is and I'll press enter. I'll add that to my design as well. So here we go. Here the both of them are. I'm going to duplicate this page. I'm going to get rid of my white one and my red one original designs. I'm going to close close this panel on the left. I don't need it anymore. I'm going to grab these two and I'm going to bring them right here. And I'm going to just crop these a little bit just so that they're easier to work with. I'll grab the both of them. I'm going to make them a little bit larger like that. Now I'm just going to try and layer them as best I can uh, on top. I am going to duplicate this white one and just put it directly on top. I'm going to go to position and layers because it's easier to see things from my position and layers tab. I'm going to grab one of them and just bring it right behind my red tiger's uh, image. And for the one on top, I'm going to grab it and I'm just going to crop it from the right going to the left. And I'm going to just keep going like this. Now, sometimes you can't actually get it perfect. But there is a workaround. So if we grab that second image, we know we have to keep the G, but anything past the G we have to get rid of. So what we can do is we can grab that. We can go to background remover. And we can just restore everything on the left side. So I'm just going to restore everything there very carefully like that. And then you'll notice that we still have the E, R and S and they are transparent in the middle, but there's still that outline and we need to get rid of that. So we're going to go to erase and we're just going to erase that so it doesn't get in the way. 
because we only need the first half of tigers. So I'm just going to very carefully get rid of that. Maybe I'll even reduce my brush size. Once you're happy with your changes, just close the background remover and go back to your page. Okay, so here we go. Now I'm just going to extend this and now it's perfect. I don't have to worry about that. Um, any of these letters getting cut off. I'm now going to go to elements and I'm going to add a tiger to my workspace. I'm going to add this tiger right here and I'm going to go to position and layers and I'm just going to bring them right behind my text like that. I'm going to make them a little bit bigger like this and I want to see the eyes but I also want to for the teeth to come in front. Now I'm going to grab the tiger and I'm going to add a outline. I'm going to add a red outline. So I'll go to edit. I'm going to go to shadows and I'm going to add a red outline like that. I am now going to duplicate that. And because I want the teeth to come out on top of the letters, um, both on top and on the bottom, and I can't really make the tiger any longer because the teeth, his, the bottom teeth are over here somewhere. So what I'm going to do instead is actually just um, use a duplicate image and use the teeth on the bottom of his mouth. So I'll grab that image and I'm going to move it all the way behind the first one. And I'll select the one on top of it. And I'm just going to crop it slightly so that I can see the teeth. And let's move the one below just a little bit higher so that we can actually use those teeth. Now I'm going to grab the tiger's head. I'm going to go to edit. I'm going to go to something called magic grab and I'm going to grab the teeth. Now when we open magic grab, we're going to have the option to click or brush. And if you don't see part of what you need um, selected, then you'll have to use the brush over here. I do want this. So I'm just going to click it and grab it. And here it is right here. I want to position that down here, but it's got this red outline. I don't want that red outline. So I'm going to go to edit. I'll go to shadows and I'm going to change the red actually to black because I want to bring a little bit of emphasis to it, but not that much. So I'm just going to reduce the size of that outline to make it less noticeable. So there it is right there. I'm now going to grab the head again because now I want the upper teeth. So I'm going to go to edit and I'll select magic grab again, but this time I want the upper teeth. So I'm just going to select my brush and I'm just going to brush over what I want. So this is what I want right here and I want the teeth and I want this part too. And I'll say grab. Okay, so there are my teeth. And again, it's got that red outline, but don't panic. Let's go to edit, shadows, outline, and let's change that to black. And let's reduce the size like that. All right. Now there's one more thing I want to do. So um, the tigers is a little bit hard to read. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to grab the image of the tigers crisscross and there's going to be three that I need to um, grab, but I'll do one at a time. So I've got this one selected first. That's this one right here. I'm going to go to edit and I'm going to add a shadow outline. I'm going to add it in white. And I'm just going to make the size a little bit smaller like that. I'll grab the red one. I'll go back to edit. And again, I'll do the same thing. I'll add an outline. I'll change it to white. 
and I'll just reduce the size a little bit. And I'll do the same thing for the last tiger. Edit, shadows, outline. Edit. So tell me, what did you think of this design? Did you like it? Did you hate it? What are you going to, are you going to use this design to create your own team logo design? Let me know in the comments what you're going to use this for. If you like this video, press the like button, subscribe, and turn your notification bell on. For now, my friends, I'm going to say bye-bye until next time.